What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are going to be taking a look at Leo Messi, the MSN pack Messi. There's a couple of days left in this card and honestly a lot of people have been asking me for a full review on him. So I'm going to show you the best skills, stats and what makes this guy so special, right? He's part of the MSN pack. Obviously this is going to be ending on the Thursday, the 5th of December. This is his card, he's down as a prolific winger. I mean, it's for all intents and purposes, lads, probably the most popular pack they've ever released, right? It's crazy how many people have actually got this Messi. And it also comes with the Blitz Curler skill, which I think is even going to be buffed once V4.2 comes out. I mean, he's just a simple kind of tap-in merchant as well. If you want that in those areas, he's going to be making lovely balls. But he can pass, he can shoot, he can dribble. Look at this for tight control and the finish with the left or right. It's, it's just a really nice card to use, man, and he's just brilliant to play with. One thing I must say that Konami have really, really excelled on is the player individuality. And obviously, if you're a free-to-play player, it can be frustrating coming up against these cards. And I get that. You know, there should be a path to actually be able to grind for these super cards, or at least have a chance at grinding for these cards, because you're going to be coming up against squads like this more and more now. But this is definitely one of the best pound-for-pound -pound cards in the game. Now, we will compare him with the other version of Leo Messi as well towards the end. There's two fantastic versions of him. But this is the build that I've got, right? And before I show you the progression, this Messi is 107 overall. But with the recommended build, he does go to 108. I've seen a few people use the recommended build, but you're missing out on speed being 90. You're also missing out on finishing at 90. And of course, you are missing out on curl. Now, I'm going to show you my build, which is a very, very, very simplified build. 7 into shooting, 8 into dribbling and dex, and then 12 into lower body. And then you can pop 1 or 2 onto passing, or you can pop 3 onto physical contact aerial strength to get that. Now, this is the build. If you walk through this, and, and as I kind of look at what we've been doing here, you've got 93 speed, but it's not really for speed. It's for the kicking power. You want 95. We've got 91 finishing, which could be higher, but we've got a huge 95 curl, and the rest of the stats are amazing. Boosted up by the agility booster we've given. We've also given him a left wing uh, position player skills don't worry too much about player skills i don't think you need to give him ball roll or advanced ball roll and yes look at the amount of goals we have scored now messi scored 12 goals in two games so it kind of slightly skews the stats right but even if you take those 12 goals out i mean he's still on nearly a goal a game he's actually on a goal a game if you take those 12 goals out exactly so it's crazy and that's not even counting his assist i mean we played two event ma matches where the opponent just down tools and he basically just let us, and we scored about six or seven goals with Messi in each game. I think it was like 12 and two games, or 13 and two games, or something. But he can pretty much do it all, man. Even though stats don't really work in his favor sometimes, he's able to pass, he can dribble, he can shoot, he can do it all. Now, one question I do get asked quite a lot is, you know, Barry, if I do have another beastly version of Messi, do I need a, this new version of Messi? Uh, probably not, really, um, for, all in, for all kind of like when it's all said and done, right? Messi, creative playmaker, you're going to have his player AI the same, his player ID the same, how he handles the same, his motion the same, his running ability and agility the same. This Messi is probably the most unique card they've ever released because of his massive physical contact. But they've changed physical contact a little bit since. That attacking players don't need physical contact, especially if they've got insane, good, insanely good balance and tight possession. So, short answer, if you do not have any other version of Messi, this Messi is in, like he's just incredible. He's one of the best cards they've ever released. If you have either of the two that I showed you there, they're more than enough, man. They're more than enough. Don't get too bogged down with, you know, getting newer versions of cards. I get really excited about new legends, like the likes of Buffon who's coming out Monday. I think he'll kind of shake things up a bit because it's something new. It's something fresh. It's a bit of hype there for a new card. But this Messi is, is pretty much flawless in terms of his card, right? But the question does remain, and it always remains with these kind of bonus extra variant cards, right? Do you need one if you have the other version? And it, it really is up to yourself. Blitz Curler is a huge addition to this card because it keeps your opponent guessing what you're going to do. And I do think that they'll buff it up a bit. But let me know what you guys think of Messi. Is he the best card that they have released? And is he the best card in the game right now? Let me know in the comments below. He's a goal a game. He's so dangerous. He's a joy to play with. The player individuality is insane. But let me know what you guys think. I will see you in the next one. Big stream Monday. We will be going for buff on. So hope to see you there. Don't forget to subscribe.